Square Website Builder Tutorial 2023 Full In-Depth Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another Website Builder Tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing in depth about Square. And we're going to be discussing how you can use this great e-commerce platform to create yourself a great looking website. Now, before getting started, let me do tell you we're using Square Online, which is squareup.com. Okay, don't go ahead and start thinking that this is Squarespace. That is a totally different website. We're using Square Up, and this is Square Online, not Squarespace. Again, Square Online, not Squarespace. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into Square Online. Now, Basically, to get yourself started, you're going to come to squareup.com. And once you come to squareup.com, as you can see in their products, they have commerce and you're going to go to online store. Now, once you go to online store over here, as you can see, you have Square Online, the online store that's made to order, you know, all that stuff. So to get into, you know, the stuff, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on start for free. Now, once you click on start for free, basically over here, they're going to start giving you all these things. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a temp mail to, you know, get myself signed in with all of this and everything. But what you can do is uh, you can like use a proper email for yourself because uh, a temp mail can easily be lost, but like your own email will not be lost. So that's the only difference that comes with this. I'm obviously using a temp mail for the video purposes, but uh, you can do as you please. So. Once we've done this, I'm going to go ahead and add my email that I just picked up. And once we've added that, make sure to add a strong password for yourself. And once you do that, agree to Square's terms and click on continue. Now, once you do that, it submits all the information that you gave it. And once you're done with that, it's going to take you into the website. So welcome to Square. Whether you have a side project or run a multi-location business, these next few questions will help us understand how to best meet your needs. You can always edit these later. So just answer as best as possible. So I'm going to click on continue. Which type of merchant best describes you? Okay, no matter what type of merchant you are, Square can help you sell anywhere. So first of all, there's the individual or sole proprietorship. One person business sole proprietor, side project, or casual use, okay? And then there's business where you can be an LLC, corporation, partnership, charity, or religious organization. So I'm gonna go with the, the individual and what name would you like to appear on customer receipts? Okay, so uh, you could, you know, go with Mr. John Leahy. Okay, just go ahead with that, click on continue, okay? Now, once you click on continue, tell us a bit about your business. What type of business do you run? You can go with any type of business you can. I'm going to go with uh, sports, okay? Something sports related. So let's go with sporting goods, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and click on continue. So we're a sporting goods business. We're a retail business who sells sporting goods. Basically, it could be, you know, uh, gym equipment. It could be, you know, soccer, cricket, you know, hockey, all that stuff. Now, once you've done with all this and once you've, you know, probably verified yourself and everything, you're going to head over to the main onboarding. And basically what they're going to do is you're going to see in the top URL, you have been, you know, taken to Weebly.com. You're probably wondering, why am I in Weebly? I just, you know, signed up with like the Square Up and everything. Why did they take me to Weebly? That's because Square Up and Weebly are, you know, together now. They, they work together and it, it's pretty cool. So you have like two of one of uh, two of the best e-commerce platforms out there working together. So it's it's a pretty good bargain. So tell us what you are selling online. Select one or more. This information helps us customize the layout and design for your online store. So it could be physical items like clothing, jewelry, packaged food. Then it could be menu items like pizza, sushi, fresh meals and drink. It could be donations like fundraising, gifts, charity. It could be tickets like conferences, sports, classes, etc could be memberships like clubs, museums, subscriptions, or services. Now, obviously, uh, I'm going to go ahead with services and package uh, physical items because the services could be, you know, gym classes and, uh, you know, gym tips and stuff like that. And in the physical, you know, you could have all the sports stuff. And once you do that, you're going to click on continue. How do you plan to fulfill orders? Let's know how you plan to get item to buyers. Now, you could ship items. 
save time with automated shipping rate calculations. You could be allow pickup where you can let customers pick up their items in store or curbside. It could be allow delivery where you can get offer on demand delivery through our couriers or use your own delivery staff, or it could be allow self-serve ordering. So I'm going to go with uh, these three in the top, or I'm going to like keep this blank because customers scanning QR codes, I, I don't go a lot with, you know, the safety of it. Now, choose the experience that works best for you. Pick one of the options below. You can change this later. So here you can, you know, go with the different types. Now here, this is single shopping page. The single shopping page is that, uh, you know, there's just one page of shopping. Then there's the shoppable Instagram page. Then there's, you know, the Instagram page where you're, you know, it's just basic Instagram posts with everything. Uh, so like if I were to, you know, show you Nike, let's go to Nike's Instagram. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click on Nike Instagram. If we were to, you know, see Nike's Instagram page, uh, we're, you know, going to see, as you can see. So this is basically your basic page with, uh, you know, all the products. So this is a Nike Instagram page. Okay. So now that you have uh, the Nike Instagram page, let's go ahead and discuss uh, what this is. Okay. This is a full website plus online store. Best for building out your brand and retaining customers. So let me show you this as well. So this is a shoppable Instagram page where it's an Instagram page with, you know, a proper shop. Then if you were to go to Nike.com, Nike's very own, you know, uh, proper e-commerce page. As you can see, this is a multi page website. As you can see, it has a men's section and even in those men's section, it has different variations. So this is like a proper online store. A single shopping page is the, like as if the, if you write Nike.com, this is the only page that Nike brings you like the only page. So that's what a shing, single shopping page is. And uh, that's why it isn't like single shopping pages aren't very popular in today's genre, because uh, as we know, people demand a lot of variety and quantity. So a single shopping page will not do in today's world. So I recommend that we go with a full website plus online store. And once you're gone with this, just click on continue. So just a second while we build your store. And there you go. Your store has started being built and um, it's going to be built in like a few seconds. So just make sure to wait for it. And here we are just a second while we build your store. Just keep on waiting and uh, just know this that once the store is built, you're going to head into the dashboard where you're going to, you know, start doing all the main stuff. Now, before heading into the dashboard here, they're going to say get started with a plan change or cancel any time for custom pricing contact sales. Now they have the free plan, the plus plan and the premium plan. Okay. Now the free plan is uh, obviously it's free, totally $0. And this is one of the greatest things about uh, square uh, online is that it gives you a proper free plan. Then you have the plus plan, okay, which is $29 where you can drive growth and streamline operations. And then you have the premium plan, which is $79. Okay. Now, I'm going to go with uh, obviously the free plan, but you can go with a plus or premium. Totally depends on you. With the free plan, as you can see, you get the website builder with SEO tools, which is amazing. SEO, meaning search engine optimization, is a pretty, you could say, important factor when it comes to, you know, your online store and everything. So uh, go with the free plan. Click on continue. Okay. Now, once you click on continue, you're going to head over to this place, which is your basic dashboard. So welcome, John. Let's get your site set up. Hire a designer to build your site. That's like obviously dependent on you. You could hire a designer off of Upwork or, uh, you know, Fiverr and stuff like that. But uh, obviously we're not here to do that. That's like the easy way out. Uh, we're here to, you know, create stuff by ourselves. So let's do that. So if we come down here, here it says design your website. Easily design a professional site with our many layout and color options. So this is where you're basically going to get started, obviously, by designing a website. So if you go on design now, this is where you're going to get, you know, all your different design options. To get started with your website. So as you can see, it, it like pretty much takes you straight into the designing portfolio and everything. And uh, that's like the good part about this. So good job. Here we are where we can, you know, pick a style for our website. Now I'm going to go with something, you know, very uh, classic. Let's go with this theme. I like this theme and they're going to show you the theme as well. If you like it, you're just going to go ahead and click on customize. Now, once you click on customize, as you can see, this is the site style. You can, uh, you know, here are the global styles that you can mess around with. And in the global styles, as you can see, you can add different images if you want to. 
you can have premium photos or Instagram photos off of uh, the people at, uh, you know, Square. Then you can also mess around with like the color grading. So the main color, let's say uh, I want to change it to, you know, a much darker white. Let's take it to this. And as you can see, it's changed it. So you can change all of that. You can change the background color. Let's say you want to keep it to this. Okay. You can keep it that. Then you have the title. Okay. Here's the title. You can change the title color font. That's also a pretty cool thing. Then you have the paragraph color font and this is the fun thing about uh, square up is that you can like change the color fonts and stuff then you have uh the font style now the font style uh could be you know you could change it to recolata it could be you know quicksand as you can see over here then you have uh you know all these different types of fonts that you can you know work around with mess around with but when it comes to a website i'd much recommend a font like you know recolata and stuff like that which is you know a pretty overpowering font a font that you know looks pretty big and you know works well with the page then you have global font styles okay here are your headings that uh, like let's say you can choose the weight of your font you have titles paragraphs labels and all that stuff then you have custom fonts okay upgrade to upload custom fonts to use on your site that also depends on you then you have you know your shapes in your shapes, uh, you have images like, uh, you know, sharp, rounded, then you have sharp, rounded, pale, everything. These are to uniform fields around, so you can, you know, set up your uh, objects and designs accordingly. Then you have your site elements like badges and stuff. Now, the bad part about this is to, you know, mess around with like, you know, all the badges, buttons, spacing and everything. For this, you're going to have to upgrade your plan. You can do this on the free plan that we're currently on right now. So please do make sure to upgrade your plan. But even without these things, as you can see, our website looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. And I like what I've done right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on done. So there is your site design. Okay. Now, once you're done with your, uh, you know, I'm going to dismiss that. Once you're done with your site design, you can also, you know, mess around with different pages. Now, here's your header. In your header, you can, you know, keep different uh, navigations. You can have different buttons. So let's say you have buttons for your, you know, store and all that stuff. Now, once you have all that, basically, you can also mess around with uh, like uh, these things, uh, you know, like uh, your lengths, your color for, uh, again, as I stated, the color for your buttons, the color for your fonts, the color for your background, the color for your foreground, the color for your uh, different, um, you could say uh, icons and stuff. For these down here, you can change that stuff. Then you obviously have your main banner and in your main banner, you can also change the layout color, the background color and all that stuff. And as we know, the these are like basic components. These are the basics of your page and uh, these should be, you know, at the back of your hand. These should be easier to work around with. These should be easier to mess around with. So as we know, pretty easy stuff. Then we have the featured items. In the featured items, you have the featured product section and all this. This is uh, also a good place to, you know, mess around with. And then once you're like done with all the things, you can also go ahead and preview your page. So let's say you're going to go into shop now and stuff. And if you like what you see, all you're going to do is uh, you're going to save your website. Okay. Don't publish it yet. Just save your website and then just back out of the editor. Now, once your website is, you know, saved with all the designs you put up with it. Now, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to head over to the website settings. So for that, you're going to go to website over here. And once you're over here, you're uh, first of all, there's the edit site option, which I told you. And the edit site option is obviously for the designing of your website uh, naturally. So uh, obviously we were already here. Now you can also switch the view from desktop to mobile, by the way. So as you can see, this is the desktop view. So again, pretty cool feature that you can, you know, change views like this. So now that we have, you know, the idea of all of that. Now let's go ahead to our, you know, featured items and everything. So once you're in, you know, featured items, basically what's going to happen from there is you're going to get all this stuff. So now that, you know, we've like discussed all the editing factors, which is like, you know, pretty abstract, pretty robust. Once all of that has been, you know, properly discussed, uh, let's head into, you know, the more, um, you could say analytical section of your website so that if you come here, first of all, let's go ahead to domains. 
Now, as we know, domains are one of the, you could say, important parts of a website. Why? Because without a domain, a person will not be able to find your page. So here it says, find a custom domain, build your professional brand with a unique web address like example.com. So let's go ahead with uh, John Sport Shack and uh, then .com. Okay, let's call it that. So we're going to go ahead and click on search. And once you click on search, as you can see, they're going to find a good name and it's an exact match. You can go ahead and select this. But obviously to get a custom domain, as you can see, they're going to tell you over here, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. Without that, you won't be able to upgrade to, you know, a plan. So you can just leave it out there if you want to use a domain I own elsewhere. Already have a domain with Google, GoDaddy or somewhere else. Easily connect or transfer it to your site. Start by verifying your current domain and then you can, you know, just go ahead and verify it if you want to. Totally depends on you. Then you can also use a square subdomain if you can. So use a square subdomain on your site for free. If you want to, you can change it uh, accordingly. Subdomains are the free domains that they give you if you don't have a proper domain for your website. So uh, once, you know, you have messed around with all of that, then comes your SEO. So your SEO basically is, as I discussed, your search engine optimization and your search engine optimization is how likely you are to appear on the Google, how on the top you appeal on the Google and how likely you are to appear on Google. So this is, again, a pretty uh, useful setting, you could say, uh, useful as in like, um, let's say, or uh, we call ourselves John uh, Sports shack let's say we call ourselves that now once we make our website how uh, like seo basically makes it more likely that our website is gonna you know be shown in the top link up here so yeah that's the seo and you're gonna make sure that uh, seo is available and over here as you can see search engine optimization set up and optimize how your site appears in search engines search results preview so in the home you have again mr john Leahy. Uh, there you have, you know, your URL and everything. You can update the SEO if you want to by, you know, uh, giving it a good page title, good page description. And once you do that, make sure you have a good social. And once you do that, you're going to click on save and that will, you know, update your SEO. Then you have search engine visibility where you can uh, uh, be, you know, visible to your search engines hidden from search engine results and, you know, all that stuff. Then you have social media where you can control the way uh, links to the site, which appears in social media. Then you have, you know, the social preview uh, and, you know, all that stuff. You can also update your social media if you want to. That's also a great way to, you know, uh, work around with that, mess around with all that stuff. So, again, great way. Then you have your all redirects that you can use. Again, these are also great for your SEO. Furthermore, you have forum submissions. Use forms to capture information, drive customer sales by capturing information in forms like email signups and more. So these form entries can only be made once your website is published. So we're going to skip that for now. Now you have site preferences where you can customize your website settings to your needs. Note that changes to settings take effect immediately. So site address, you can, you know, keep a proper site address. You can upgrade to a custom domain to make sure your site is more memorable. SSL is always enabled for secure experience. SSL is basically a security, uh, socket security layer, I'm pretty sure. It's a basically a certificate that keeps your website secure. Then you have site title, where your site title basically appears in your browser tab along with your favicon. Your favicon is, you know, going to be this stuff up here, your logo and stuff. Then you have site icon where you can invite customers to add an icon to their mobile home screen that links to your site. Encourage quick and easy shopping directly from mobile. Then you have cookie consent where you can cookie consent banners for inform your site visitors that you're using cookies and allow them to opt out. You also have site QR code where you can put a QR code on signs and marketing and point customers to your site for pickup, delivery, or shipping. A favicon is the small icon users see in a browser tab as well. You also have password protection where your site is visible to the public. With an upgrade, you can quickly set a password to protect your entire site or individual pages. Then you have unpublished where you can republish your site anytime to get it up and running again if you want to. And then you can also, again, reset your site to default if you want to. 
Now here are your items, okay? Now in your items, first of all, come your site items. Now in your site items, basically, again, you're gonna head over to the website creation panel. And uh, over here, again, are gonna be your items. Items are basically your products that you're gonna sell online. So add items you would like to start selling on the site. So you can create a new item, create items from a delivery service, or create items from a, a PDF. So I'm gonna create a new item for myself. And once you go and create a new item, item type, okay, we're going to keep it physical. Item title, let's put up a treadmill, okay? So treadmill, the price, uh, let's keep it at uh, 500 US dollars. Sale price, let's keep this at 435, you know? So once you've done that, uh, you could give a description of the product that this is the best quality treadmill you can find. Uh, you can find uh, on the market and you can you know add stuff like this into your interface and uh, once all of that is done you can also go under here we're in the visibility where your item is ready to sell online and will show up in navigation and search results upgrade to schedule item updates in advance schedule visibility and sale price updates for a specified time by upgrading the site's plan fulfillment how will your shoppers be receiving this item then you have fulfillment methods where you have your shipping, pickup, local delivery, and self-serve ordering, etc. Then you also have your shipping weight, okay, where you can keep a shipping weight for yourself. Like I'm going to keep it at 43 pounds. You have the item prep time and seller's pre-order and all that stuff. And once you know you've like done all the settings for your item, you're just going to finally save it. And as you can see, you have an item added. So once you have an item added, uh, it's going to be shown to, you know, your page. And you can also create a site category. So let's say we uh, have a category about uh, gym equipment. So the gym equipment could, you know, be uh, obviously the treadmill that we just added. So choose items. Here's the treadmill. We're going to add it. Here's done. You can add an image if you want to. And once you're done with that, just click on save. Now, working with categories is much easier because obviously, let's say you have like 50 products and in those 50 products, 12 of them are for sports, 10 of them are for gym and the others are, you know, just, you know, courses and stuff. So it's necessary to make categories to know what you're working with. Then you have coupons. So everyone loves a coupon. Create a coupon exclusive for use online. Coupons you create in Square Online are different from Square coupons and are in sync. So coupons if you are to go and add coupon coupons are basically codes basically that people use at checkout and that is to you know uh get a specific discount if they you know require it and that discount is you know it's a pretty good discount pretty decent discount that will basically help you with uh, you know the checkout and everything then you have gift cards gift cards are the same as uh, coupons gift cards could you know maybe get you free gifts free items and all that stuff and you can release that as well and you know gift cards and coupons are pretty necessary for e-commerce websites because you could say they're good for customer attraction because if people see that okay this person is giving out coupons and gift cards for their website they're going to come towards you they're going to come to buy your products and stuff then you can also get customer reviews but you can also only get this on the upgraded plan as so then you have the item sync and item preferences which we discussed previously in like the store editing section this is the order section. Now, this is where you're basically going to get, as it says, your orders. This is where people are going to place orders and they're going to be, you know, shown over here. And this is where you're going to manage them. Increase sales up to 93% with on-demand delivery. Customers places an order for delivery. It shows on your point of sale. Square dispatches a professional courier while you prepare the order. And courier pickups the order and delivers it to the customer. You can also save on shipping with UPS if you want to later on, if you want to. Then you have fulfillment. And in the fulfillment, basically, you can get pickup and delivery. You have shipping, self-serve shipping, and, you know, all that thing, all that stuff that goes on. So, yeah, you have all this. Pickup delivery. You can try it out if you want to. Confirm the address if it's correct, all that stuff. Then you have reports, okay? And in the reports, uh, these are basically, you know, your analytics, your page analytics, the reports for your page, you know, pretty obvious stuff. You can tell it by the name. So uh, you're going to get reports for your page using this. And uh, it's just, you know, all the basic stats and uh, pretty basic, pretty easy stuff where you can get the stats. These are then the, here comes your site traffic. And uh, this is 
where you can, you know, see all the traffic, like where the traffic is going, where the traffic is coming from and all that stuff when it comes to, you know, your site. So that's site traffic. And uh, then once we've discussed about site traffic, then you have your site activity, which is obviously the activity. Discover what content interests your visitors and you have sources. And uh, in the sources, basically, you can see where your visitors come from. Like you can see where which country, which, uh, you know, continent, which state, all that stuff. And uh, then the best thing about Square Up is abandoned carts. Now, abandoned carts are basically uh, when someone like puts, you know, products into their cart, like let's say they buy three or four products from your page, then they go to the checkout, but they immediately leave the page. That is an abandoned cart. And that abandoned cart activity is, you know, uh, notified when it comes to Square Up. And then you can also notify the user by sending them an email that, hey, you have an abandoned cart. Do you want to make a, you know, a purse chase with this cart or not? And also you have coupons, track how much sales you make from coupons. That's also a good way to see if you need more coupons or not. Then you have the marketing section and obviously in the marketing section is the different types of marketing that you can use. Now this has email automations and all that stuff. And for that, you're going to create email campaigns by clicking on view campaign. And once you click on view campaign, you can, you know, create different email campaigns for yourself. Email campaigns are basically, you know, a great marketing method, which you can use to, you know, market uh, your website. And you can also use it to just, you know, be more popular. And uh, you can, you know, market on email, on market on Facebook, on receipt and all that stuff. Create campaigns by going over here. You can also create automations for yourself. Automations are basically, as I stated, uh, a trigger. Basically, if one action happens, the other action happens automatically through automation. So let's say if someone makes a purchase, you're going to automate your, you know, automations to as soon as a purchase is made, an email is sent to the user that's made the purchase. So that's an automation and it's pretty good for the use of, you know, quick work and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, great things to work with. And again, automations, there is like a tons and tons of them and you can work around with them uh, as much as you want. You have reviews, coupons, assistant and all that stuff. So you can work around with that as well if you want to. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my website and here I am. Here you have communications where you can use email and text alerts with your, you know, customers and all that stuff. Uh, now, the email and uh, alert section is pretty necessary because email and alerts basically allow you to, you know, contact your customers and it allows your customers to, you know, get contacted by you and, you know, they can contact you using this feature as well. So, again, pretty good thing to have by your site. And then obviously there's the sales channel, which you can check out later, the photo studio apps. Now this app section is obviously for integration where you can integrate your uh, square up with all these things. Like, you know, you have Printful, you have Shippo, you have Clickin, Weeklot, Ice Cream Social, FOMO, Story App, Poptin, Spocket, Shop Ventry. You know, you have all these things, like tons and tons of this stuff, which you can mess around with later on if you want to. Now... That's pretty much all there is when it comes to, you know, working with Square Up with, you know, all your, you know, you could see website building and stuff. Now, if we were to, you know, go through all of it again and give a verdict, we know that Square Online is an extremely easy to use affordable e-commerce website builder. You'll get great value from Square Online's sale features and customer support, but its design flexibility is, as we saw, a bit limited. Now, back in 2018, like if you were to, you know, discuss the analytics. So back in 2018, Square, the payment processing giant, bought Weebly, one of the top rated websites builder. Having conquered the world of payments, Square now had everything it needed to tackle the world of e-commerce store building and the Square online builder is the result. Now, I've tested the online store builder in like a great way, as you can clearly see. And it's safe to say that I'm pretty impressed at what it does, as at what it's produced. While I would recommend Weebly for small businesses, I would recommend Square Online for small e-commerce businesses, particularly if you already have a brick and mortar store or are looking to great value for your money. Now, Square Online has great reviews online as well. Its ease of use is amazing. The design flexibility is a bit low, but the features are amazing. 
The sales feature, our amazing help and support is always there. The value for money is outstanding because it's totally free and it just works great. And the customer score is also pretty good. Now, the pros also far outweigh the cons. The pros come uh, in, you know, shapes and sizes like it has great features at reasonable, uh, you know, your reasonable prices. It has easy to use, you know, site dashboard, which keeps track of, you know, your product sales, customer journeys and abandoned card recoveries. It has inbuilt marketing features that support everything from email marketing to paid advertisements. Uh, the only problem with it is limited scope for customization and you have to use the square payment gateway to avoid large transaction fees and small learning curve when you first get started with the whole platform, as you can see. Now, it's uh, to use Square Online's uh, sign-up process involves answering a few questions about your business, you know, as we did in the start of this video. Once you have a proper full-fledged account, it only gets easier from there on out. Remember this. This is Weebly's software, and Weebly has the second highest customer score of any builder that you have seen. So I'm not surprised that Square Online's impressive in when it comes to ease of use. It's virtually impossible to mess up when you're creating your online store with Square and the setup process is pretty quick. You will be given a general layout to work with, which you can edit to include your company's logo, your desired colors and fonts. You don't need any prior technical knowledge to start selling on Square Online. But that being said, the trade off is that customization options can be limited. Now, my testing find out that uh, it's pretty easy, well, easy to customize the templates, but there only seems to be one default template that you can use to customize to your liking. There's not much choices until you're really willing to play around with the whole layout. Now, unlike most website builders, uh, you know, Square Online doesn't offer a huge library of templates to choose from. If you're super creative or want to build something from scratch, you might find this a bit frustrating. However, there is plenty uh, to like uh, about this approach too. The main selling point from the point of view is that you're building a site that takes into account the best e-commerce practice specifically for your industry. Now, don't get me wrong. I love seeing blog and portfolio sites with crazy designs that, you know, push the boundaries, but I don't see e-commerce site as a place to try anything radically different. You want to make users experience as easy and as familiar as possible and a challenging radical design could be all that it takes to stop a visitor from becoming a proper full-fledged customer for you. This sentiment was echoed in my testing where uh, one of the user I saw felt having a simple template allows your product to really stand out and do all the work. This also means that merchants can get the design wrong. With this in mind, I think that Square Online scores well for design when it comes to, you know, the end product and everything. Now, the end product follows best practice, but there's enough scope to put to your own stamp on it. There's plenty of white space and the products are displayed in a really visual way. The end result is a clean site that looks good and it's pretty easy net to navigate. An e-commerce store would be, you know, would be pleased to publish and everything. Now, Square Online's sale tools and features are pretty good as well because Square Online offers strong sales feature and will work particularly well if you already use the Square POS system in your brick and mortar store. The fact that you can access all of this for free makes it incredibly, you know, good value and stuff and uh, something I'll cover more in like, you know, the pricing terms. So it's easy to pr add products to your store and crucially add variations to those products too if you want to. You can even add modifiers, allowing customers to personalize their products, ideal if you're selling gifts. And uh, setting up your, you know, basic uh, new categories and uh, to, you know, personalize their products. So easy, in fact, that Square Online will suggest categories for you based on how similar your, uh, you know, products are categorized across the main web. Overall, the item library is a simple way to upload and organize your products low on stock running a sale and you know all that stuff don't worry you know square has the uh good fixes for you and all that stuff and managing stock is also pretty easy when it comes to you know square because selling a product on your site only to discover that you sold the last one in your store a few minutes ago is every store manager's worst nightmare Good inventory management tools are crucial if you want to avoid embarrassing conversations, complex returns, and unhappy customers. Fortunately, Square Online has you covered here because you have a proper brick and mortar store already and use Square as your POS system. This is when the combination really comes into its own. You can manage all inventory from your centralized dashboard, adding stock levels available in different locations. 
keep this up to date and Square will, you know, take the rest of uh, the stuff. You can use Square Online to update your stock to reflect the following changes. Stock received adds the number you enter to the current total for existing stock and the sets the stock number for new items. Then you have inventory recount where you can replace the current stock total with the number you enter or set the stock number for new items. You also have restock return where you can add the number and enter the amount of existing stock total. You have damage which decreases the stock number by the amount you enter. Theft which decreases the stock number by the amount you enter and uh, loss which decreases the stock number. Then you have payment processing. Now, while most e-commerce platforms will offer a whole range of payment processing options like, you know, Square Online, your only real option is, well, Square. You can also add PayPal if you had a performance or premium plan. Square is a great payment processor, don't get us wrong, but like the lack of choice sets it apart from larger e-commerce platforms. The shipping options are also pretty great like flat rate, free shipping, order weight, order total, uh, item quantity, real time rates and all that stuff. Then also comes, you know, the tax calculations you have, like manually calculating the right tax depending on where you're selling it would be a logistical nightmare. Therefore, sellers rejoice at these three words, automatic tax calculator. If you're shipping across states, Square Online will automatically account for the taxes in both states. If you're shipping within your own state, it recognizes this too and you'll only get the one rate. If you're shipping to Canada, the country's 5% tax rate will automatically be applied with any additional territory specific taxes based on top of this. Then you obviously have, you know, Square's SEO that I discussed, which is pretty good. Like SEO stands for uh, search engine optimization. It relates to how well your site is designed in order to have your products recognized by Google. Any small business known uh, that word of mouth is one of your most powerful marketing tools. But uh, if you can get your product to rank on page one of the Google search results for popular keywords like winter candle in our case, you can see your skills skyrocket. Often some simple tweaks are all it takes for Google to recognize that your product is what it is. The Google bots are smart, but they can't read pictures and won't be able to distill your beautifully crafted product descriptions the way a human brain actually would. Then comes the products on Square. Okay, the pop-ups and all the products, that all is also pretty easy to use. And the pricings, again, free professional performance and premium. Again, all that stuff, pretty basic, pretty nice and pretty easy to use. So yeah, that's all there is when it comes to, you know, Square and how you can use it to basically create a great website builder. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful and informational, please let me know down in the comments below and drop a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know that in the comments below as well and I'll make more videos for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.